Welcome back friends. Uh, in the last video, we'll, we have just discussed about uh, how to name a particular organism. That is, once you identify a particular organism with certain characteristics, we need to put them in a particular category, right? And that thing is done. Now, after and during that process also, we need to name that particular organism so that we can easily find them, right? So, naming is extremely important. Now, that naming procedure is termed as nomenclature. But remember, we have also talked that we can't name them according to the regional names, right? Or pet name that we used to call different organisms, different animals, different pet of your house. Simply, you call it uh, different names like, you know, dog or cat, whatever pet you have. You can't name it like that way because you, the donor of that name, only knows that name. No other people know that name. So we need to provide them with a name which acts as a universal ID or tag so that whenever we talk about that name or that tag, it will bring only one type of animal, not the other. Right? So that's called the binomial nomenclature consisting of two units because the term such as binomial, so two names, so two part of the name, simply like each of us, like right? one is our, you know, uh, name and title, simple like that, right? So, if you look at here, in the binomial nomenclature, it was uh, first started by the genius scientist Carolus Linnaeus. And Carolus Linnaeus uh, started this, and this binomial nomenclature process actually uh, deals with, you know, Latin words, right? So, it deals with Latin words you know in lots of biology terms you are going to find either comes from greek word or latin word because you know uh, the research at the very beginning when uh, the time to come naming in science most of the sciences latin and greek have huge imp implications in math and you know in different science and all these things you can find hugely name of latin as well as greek so here you can see the latin words are there in binomial nomenclature that means, whatever name you need to write, you need to write them in Latin, not in English. If it, you need to write it in English, it becomes very easy, extremely easy for us to remember all those binomial names. But actually, it is not that easy nowadays because it's in Latin. Right. So, it does definitely have a meaning in that naming. But uh, let's see here. So, binomial nomenclature means it will consist of two units. Two units means, let's say this is the first unit. And let's say this is the second unit. It's two different units. The first unit and both the units actually, both the units will be written in Latin term, right? Right? You may write it in the English format, but the term but but but, but the term will be in Latin. Okay. So in the case of the first thing, and usually Latins are you know written in the italic word, italic. You know, what do you mean by italic word? Italic word means it's simply slided like that. Let's say italic. That's how uh, italic word is simply written. So it's kind of tilted uh, from the normal type. So in this case, the first part of a binomial nomenclature, right? So let me let me write one nomenclature for you, then discuss it. I think it will be much easier for you. For example, Mangifera in Indica. So let us write Mangifera Indica. So these are this is one particular nomenclature. Remember, two part for one single binomial nomenclature. So here, the first part of this type of nomenclature, you know, they should be written in the italics, right? italics that means slightly tilted but remember when you read writing this name uh, with your hand bare hand how can we tilt something like that it is highly you know very difficult for us to write you know during exams you can't tilt things like that so in this in that case you have a very good option and that option is to simply underline your word if you underline the word it will bring it to the effect of italic and people will know that that word is definitely meant to be in Latin, right? So keep this thing in your mind. Whenever you are writing any binomial name, you should put, uh, you know, underline 
between i mean underline underneath you know that that word so you need to underline that word okay so once you do this now it's kind of fine now certain rules rule is that write it so first rule that i've told you two parts second rule you need to underline them third thing and it starts with a capital starts with a capital letter or uh, you know higher order letter and in the second part of the name starts with a small letter it will not start with a capital you know like title and name you start with a capital and in the title again you start with a capital but actually in binomial nomenclature of organism the the starting will be capital but the second part will start with a small right so remember this and the last thing is that you should put a gap between them small gap not this huge gap that i put here because i put here because to put them here like in like this okay so and and another thing the first part of this binomial nomenclature consists of the first part consists of genus of that organism second part consists of the species of that organism now what is species what is genus and what are other things we will be talking about this thing in the future video in the next video so keep uh, looking at the video but uh, simply know that species is a unit of all this hierarchy of taxonomy now taxonomy is all about arranging you know identifying organism arranging them in particular group and naming them so if you name it we put it from a particular bench and we are going towards big so species is present at the lowest end which is a single unit now many species will form something and more ultimately it will rise to a particular level right many species will form a genus right many genus will form a family okay so similarly similarly it will rise to a particular level right so this is called the hierarchy of taxonomy we'll be talking about this hierarchy of taxonomy in the next video okay but know that first part of the binomial nomenclature is genus second part is species they will be written in you know they sh you should underline them right and first is a capital second part starts with small right so these are the things you need to know now uh, certain things and these nomenclatures are simply termed as you know scientific names scientific names so whenever people say what is the scientific name of a mango do you know this one magnif mangifera indica it's easy to remember because you know mangi mango is very very similar so mangifera indica is the name of scientific name of mango now whenever people want to talk about mango you know mango may be termed differently in different portions of the world right but whenever you say mangifera indica we want to talk about mangifera indica you talk about a specific species only in the world and that is fixed with this particular scientific term similarly for other type of names like like homo sapiens this is the scientific name of human so whenever we talk about homo sapiens all of us belongs to that particular being now you may ask me a question that why then what is the difference then you know uh, we have different people in different regions so why putting them in the same group now the answer for that may we may have been different people in different regions but we belong to same species we are belonging to same particular species that is human that is homo sapiens the sapiens species right and that's why we should put them in into the group right so suppose dogs there are different dogs that are present there so you can name them different uh, name to different dogs but once we look from the taxonomic point of view all those dogs they have uh, you know the dogs that are just present uh, suppose in your in your home you have a particular type of furry dog that dog is a particular species and they this is common to all and throughout the world and they will give an only one name for that that kind of dog right so this is how the nomenclature actually works right 
So in the future video we will be talking about the hierarchy of taxonomy. So stay tuned.